right. Uh, we tried this. Uh, we tried this the first time, and the sound wasn't good. Uh, I have to turn down the desktop sound. Okay, so we're going to try this again. We're going to try the MD82 again, and we'll fly from Gander uh, to Deer Lake. But we're going to we're going to change. We're going to change the weather. We're going to bring this down to to just cirrus clouds and we're going to back it up to say 8:30 local time. 8:30 a.m. in the morning. Okay, so it should be a clear day. So let's start that cuz the first time I did it was nighttime and it's not, not much value in that. And uh, this way, we'll be able to see that X-Plane 11 does a fantastic job with scenery in Newfoundland. Uh, you'll see, as I take off from Gander, Gander Lake is excellent. And all the ponds, I mean, uh, the Exploits River and all the ponds on the way to Deer Lake. Here we go. Yeah, we're on the, yep, we're on the runway heading south here. Yeah, that's fantastic. Now, the season has changed from summer to spring. Uh, do you want to reload the textures now? I'm going to say no to that. So we'll stay in the summer mode, I guess. We'll stay in the summer mode. Okay, let's see. Let's see how, this, how loud this is. Okay, so I'm going to go up to flight and I'm going to start engines to running. Let's see how this sounds. Yep looking good I like to look I like to look at these two gauges here my n1 so it's zero now both of them are zero so you can hear the auxiliary engine kick in which is used to it's used to fire up the number one and number two engine here we go here's number one here we go and it's spooling up now looking good that'll get up to about 25 24 25 so that's good that's good and now waiting for engine number two To spool up. There we go. Engine number two spooling up. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Okay. Okay. Looking good. Okay, so uh, with X Plane, you right click and you can pan around so I can look out my window. There's a runway on that side that runs east west. And I'm on the north-south runway. I don't know who designed X-Plane, but they put a whole bunch of planes in Gander. I guess from the 9-11 incident, they have a whole bunch of... I mean, there's Virgin uh, Airlines and a lot of jumbo jets there. Anyway, okay, enough of that. Um, I don't need to put my lights on as I did last night because it's daytime. Um, I just want to zoom in here on the um, on the onboard computer here, the navigation computer. So it says nav date, edit date. So we're going to clear that, and we're going to go to the root menu and the root list. And we're actually going in reverse now. So we're not going YDF. We're going YQX to YDF. So that's our route there. And, oh, I'm getting an error there. This flight was saved with a different ERAC cycle than what's currently loaded. But that's okay. I understand. If I look now over here, hold on, let me get this out of the way. If I look over here, yeah, this is fine. I've got now a line, a little navigation line from YQX to YDF. That's, so that's perfectly fine. You do not need to enter flight number 
But I always like to just put in... You can just put in a random code there. Pop that in. That's fine. Alright. That's fine. Alright, we're good. We're good. Alright. So, I'm going to look forward. Um, I'm going to put my uh, flaps down in configuration for takeoff. Uh, we can see on the outside of the jet, we can see that the flaps, you can see the flaps go down. Yep, they're down. That's fine for, for takeoff. Um, I'm going to look up at my panel to see there's, oh yeah, see, so I have one little issue here. Parking brakes are on, so I'm going to just turn those off. There we go. And I can look forward. Now, sometimes I like to switch to the heads-up display. That's HUD HUD heads-up display. Um, and I can watch my speed as I go to take off. So I'm gonna put, I'm using my foot pedals now. I'm I'm braking. I'm going to give some throttle. I'm gonna go to 50%. They're spooling up. They're spooling up. That's fine. I'm gonna let go my brakes and I'm gonna spool up all the way. I'm gonna go to full throttle. I'm using my rudders to, to maintain the center line. I'm gonna try to, there we go. I'm up to 60 knots, 70 knots, 80 knots, tracking well down to runway, 90 knots. You can see the little bar coming up, 120 knots. That is V1, rotate, rotate, I'm airborne. Okay, so gear up and flaps up. I'm going to go back in my cabin now and I'm going to bank. I'm going to bank heavily because I'm going to try to I'm going to try to get that purple line which is way off on the right. I'm going to try to get that to line up so it's pointing forward and I'm going to try to climb to 10,000 feet I'm up to 4,000 feet now. I'm just going to try to get to that waypoint. You can see a little waypoint here. going to try to head to that waypoint. Seven thousand feet. Ah, there we go. It switched. See the waypoint switched, and so now that um, the next the next waypoint lit up there, so I can come around to the left. I can try to align that purple, solid purple line. So that's dead ahead, so I'm going directly to YDF, directly to Deer Lake. That looks good. Okay, now I'm going to begin to throttle back because I'm approaching 10,000 feet. So I'm just going to throttle back and I'm just going to throttle back. There we go. I'm at about 10,000 feet. That looks good. Right there. Okay, let's try to straighten up a little bit. Whoops. Whoops. I'm losing some altitude here. Whoops. Two, 200 feet below, 10,000 feet. That's not good. Just want to come back up a bit there. That's good. Okay, so let's see if we can... I'm just trying to... There we go. 10,000 feet. Let's just, let's just level off right there. Just gonna level off right there. That's good. Whoops. Uh, having a little difficulty. 
having a little difficulty maintaining my 10,000 feet. I'm kind of kind of bobbing up and down here. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's see if I can engage. Oops. Now I'm 100 feet above. Let's see if I can maintain it right there. There we go. All right. So my flight directory is on. And I'm going to turn on autopilot. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase my whoop, I'm going to increase my speed to let's say I want my speed to be like 235. So let's turn that on. There we go. That's my throttle. And 10,000 feet. Let's maintain 10,000. And the third thing I'd like to do, yeah, I was up a little bit, look. I was up a little bit. The third thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my heading, and it should be around 300. You'll notice now, have your eye up here. Right now it's on 75, but I want it around 300. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this around to 300. Ah, there you can see it. See the dashed line? That's what I'm controlling right now. I don't want that over there. I want to line that up with my solid. I want my dashed purple line to line up with my solid line. So that's what I'm doing with this um, heading switch here. You see, I'm coming around to 300. Actually, it'll be more like 298 or something, I bet. 296. So I'm going to press that. So now you can see that my speed is set at 235. My heading is selected. And I'm holding my altitude. So that is excellent. She is on autopilot now. And let's have a look at the windows. Every pond here is accurate. I don't know how x -Plane got the data, but it is crazy accurate. The topography, not so accurate. Um, you know, there's a lot of black spruce in Newfoundland, and there's a lot of bogs. It Sometimes it's not accurate there, but the outline of every pond is perfectly accurate. The cities are not so accurate. Uh, some of the buildings are not quite right. There, I'm looking out. Um, I'm looking at the bay here. That would be uh, Northern Dame Bay. I'm looking out there, and I'd be looking out um, Gander Bay there, out the window. That long line up there would be the Great Northern Peninsula, I think, or at least the Bayvert Peninsula that I'm looking at there. This is all accurate. The coastline and the ponds and the lakes are are crazy accurate. Let's uh, get outside the plane and have a little look. So I'm flying uh, Air Canada. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so I totally know where I am here. This is the... That's the Exploits River. That's Grand Falls, Windsor. That's the Exploits River. That's Grand Falls, Windsor right there. Um, actually, no, it's not. That's a lie. That's, um, that's Grand Falls, Windsor there. <laughs> and so up the highway, um, uh, Botwood is out this way. That's the turn out to Botwood. And that's Bishop's Falls here. That's where the Tim Hortons is on the highway. So the Exploits River comes down and uh, goes out past Botwood, out to the bay there, Notre Dame Bay. Gander is back that way, so that's uh, Glenwood Appleton. This is Gander Lake here, all that water that you see behind me. That is Gander Lake. So I just took off from this bit of green right there, just above my tail. That's where I just took off from. So yeah, this is MD-82. I'm at 10,000 feet. 
uh, cruising at um, 235 knots, heading to, yeah, uh, uh, heading to Deer Lake. I'm right over Bishop's Falls. See, I told you the the towns are not accurate. Bishop's Falls doesn't quite look like this. All the roads are good, though. This road here that you'll see below is very accurate. This is how the the highway goes over the Exploits River. This this circular thing here is accurate. The road that goes down toward Tim Hortons is accurate. That is Grand Falls, Windsor. Grand Falls one side, Windsor the other. There's some farmland there. There's some some root vegetables grown there. So that's somewhat accurate. Yeah, so I'm going to just get back inside. How are we doing? Ooh, I'm off my target. Notice that we've drifted. So I'm going to need to bring my dotted line. See if I can arrange this so you can see. So I'm going to go back to this knob. I'm going to push that forward. So I'm going to bank. And I, I want to try to always line up the dashed line with the solid line. You know, I always try to make that so that you're flying. Let me zoom in here so you can see what's going on here. You're always trying to stay on this solid navigational tracking line, right? So to do it properly, you always look at the top of the screen here and, and just try to put that toward where you want to go. But everything's looking good here. So our speed is 235. You can see the little bug here on my uh, speed indicator. Heading's fine. We just did that. So now I'm flying a uh, magnetic heading of 307. And my altitude, 10,000 feet. That's fine. That was set over here. We're all looking good. Doesn't take long. We'll, we'll be in... We'll be in Deer Lake airspace in no time. No time at all. So this is the HUD. HUD. This is the heads-up display. Ah, funny. The clouds are kind of like mare's tails. So that looks like wind aloft. So again, over here, my altitude, 10,000 feet. Uh, level flight, 235 knots. Over here, my heading... 307 degrees. So it's kind of a west by northwesterly heading. As I'm heading to heading to Deer Lake. It's my co-pilot. In the in the X plane you can move about by pressing on your arrow keys on your keyboard. And I can even open the door here. And I can move, I can move out into uh, where the stewardess would be. Whoops, I'm a little bit high. So this would be the galley. And, um, you know, where she would warm up the coffee. Or he. Don't mean to be sexist there. And it's an empty plane. There's no one on the plane. There's the, the door to the outside. I want to open that up during flight. And at any point, I can press on... Um, I can move about the cabin. The rest of the fuselage, I can move way back. I love this. So we get a, a view of what the passengers would see. Let me just get down here. That's the view a passenger would have if you were above Newfoundland looking out toward the Bayvert Peninsula and Notre Dame Bay. That is the view you would have. I guess we're coming up now. So uh, there's Green Bay and then the next bay over would be White Bay once you pass the Bayvert Peninsula. Uh, but I can press on a key and I can jump right back into the pilot seat. This uh, trim is now controlled by the autopilot. So you see at, it's set at about four here. You can see nose up or nose down. 
It's not at zero, so autopilot has chosen uh, at about four. So that's the trim. That's the that's this thing here on your rudder. That's what controls your trim and keeps your plane nose up or nose down attitude. That's what that that's what that uh, control does. I wouldn't touch that now. The autopilot. Whoops, I've drifted again. So now I need to come back to 300. Again, I'm going to try to arrange this so you can see what I'm doing. As I turn this knob here, you'll see that we will bank now a little bit to the left. I'm going to roll this back to 300 maybe. 302. Let's go to 300. I keep going over this, this line. But by controlling that knob, I bank to the left. So now this uh, this country here, I'm I'm not familiar with. Um, I mean, the train track kind of went over this country. the The current highway does not. I uh, I think old New Flanders would call this the gaff topsails. It was sort of high country. Um, high and treeless. And uh, I guess the old real Reed Railroad thought that was the best route. Um, the headwaters of the exploits goes way into the country here and sort of heads down toward um, Bergio. Um, yeah, I think it's Indian... Indian Lake, I think it's called. I'm not quite sure. But that's well into the center of Newfoundland. And uh, it's, that's very close to the headwaters that um, flow out toward uh, Bergio. All right, what's going on here? Oh, what are we seeing here? Am I already out to... Yeah, I think I can see Grand Lake. This is Grand Lake. This is I could these mountain range here. So we're uh, I'm looking at the um, Humber Valley, and I'm pretty sure that's Grand Lake. So that would be Howley, and if I look up this way, that's Sandy Lake, and that's up towards Springdale. Up here there might be a pond. Yes, that is Sheffield Lake right there. Sheffield Lake, very close to the highway. There's a valley that runs up there along. Um, Birchie Narrows that goes toward uh, Springdale. So, I'm going to look now at my... Yeah, I'm drifting again, look. I've got to add that. I, I want to come up to maybe 302, maybe. Yep. And bank a little bit to the right. So it's almost time, we're almost there. It's almost time for me now to um, begin to descend. I'm at 10,000 feet. So I might actually turn off my autopilot and begin my approach into Deer Lake. Let's get outside the, outside the aircraft here. Yeah, that is definitely Grand Lake. This is Sandy Lake. It's a very big lake on the west coast of Newfoundland. Yeah, so that is definitely Notre Dame Bay. That looks like Green Bay. That's Green Bay. That's White Bay. That's White Bay. That's Sops Arm. Sops Arm. Uh, Pollard's Point. Hampton would be way up here. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Kitty's Brook. We see Kitty's Brook. That's Hines Lake. This long stretch here, Hines Lake, is perpendicular to Grand Lake. I can see way in the distance Deer Lake. That's that little stretch there. 
yeah, it is time for me to get in, and I'm going to turn off... I am. I'm going to turn off my autopilot, and I'm going to begin to descend. In fact, just before I do that, a, a nice way to slow down is to use your autopilot to just reduce... I'm going to reduce my speed to 200 knots. And by just dialing this back... The plane cuts back on the throttle. I didn't do that. It'll cut back. I want to reduce my speed. You cannot put your flaps down at high speed. There we go. There we go. We're down to 200. So now she'll increase throttle just to maintain 200. We just bled off some speed there. And so now we'll... We'll throttle back up just to maintain um, 200 knots. All right. All right, that's fine. I'm going to turn off my <laughs> autopilot. And, um, and I'm going to turn off uh, the flight, flight directory and turn all that off. And I'm going to just throttle back. Whoops. Something's funky here. I gotta turn that off. And I'm gonna cut back my speed. That's good. That's good. Alright. Alright. That's good. Oh, I wanna maintain about 10,000 feet. All right, so we're getting an error there. That constant beeping is if you maintain this configuration, you will you will lose your you will lose your craft. But I want to I want to begin to descend now. Okay, so I want to go nose down. So I'm going to push my nose down. There we go. There we go. This is good. Nose down. I'm 9,000 feet. This is good. just trying to stay on this line. I'm very close to Deer Lake now. Deer Lake's just on the other side of Grand Lake. You can see all this water in front of me. This is um, Grand Lake and Sandy Lake. It's all the same bit of water there. Just trying to come down. I want to get around 2,500 feet. I'm at 8,000 feet, so I, I gotta try to try to lose a lot of... I got full flaps extended now. Seventy five hundred feet. I still got a lot of height to to come down here. I got another 5,000 feet. Yeah. This is 80s Lake up here. 80s Lake. Sandy Lake. You can just see the Humber River. Humber River flowing down into Deer Lake. Right there. So we're, we're now definitely in the Humber Valley. And... I'm banking a little bit to the right just to make sure that that purple line stays in the front of me. Oh, I've got a clear view now of 80s Lake. And that's the Humber River, that thin line there, that thin blue line. Yep, 
you can see some graphs over here. You can see that with my flaps fully extended, I shouldn't go above 200 knots. But I can't go below 120 knots. That would be a uh, stall speed. This is looking good. This is looking good. You can see some waypoints here coming up. And I, I think I can see a turn here coming up. I'm down to 5,000 feet. This is good. My speed is good. Whoops. Moving a little bit too fast. Yeah, that's definitely Deer Lake. This is Sandy Lake. Yep, we're doing good. We are doing good. 4,000 feet. I'd like to get down to at least 2,500. I just have to see, I forget what I had programmed in here. I use another uh, bit of software to program my approach. You can plug in some waypoints and um, line yourself up with the runway several miles out. Yeah, that looks very, I'm pleased with this. Okay, I am 3,700 feet, this is good. This is good. Yeah, there's a nice, look at this, a nice approach here. This is good. I'm soon going to throttle back up and maintain, and maintain 2,000 or 2,500 feet. That's looking really good. I can see that I'm on track here. Soon you can see I'm going to have to go left. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm going to throttle back up. Whoops, I don't want to go too, too fast. I'm going to throttle back up. Just maintain. I'm going to put my gear down. If I can maintain... F there we go. That beeping meant that if I stayed in that configuration, I would eventually get to a stall point, right? So, I want to just maintain... Whoops, I'm now down below 2,500 feet. But I want to keep it about right here. Let's have a look. How are we doing? I got off track a little bit. I'm just trying to... Just trying to stay on that track. Just trying to stay on that track. 2,400 feet. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm only just 20 feet below 2,500. 2,480. And I'm fairly level. Trying to head toward this waypoint, you can see right here. So then I'll I'll bank left, and I should be lined right up with the runway. My, my gear is down. Uh, flaps are fully extended. You can see the flaps here, fully extended. Looking good. Get back in, how we doing? Yep, yep. So you can see my line here disappeared, so I should very much bank heavily to the left, and I should line right up with the runway.
Now you can see the Humber River. All this is the Humber River, the snake here. You can see Deer Lake way in the distance. And I'm just going to begin to descend now. I'm not going to maintain this um, 2200. I'm just going to begin to just begin to slowly come down here. I like to put this circle very near the front of the runway. You can see the canal on the left. That's a man-made diversion of Grand Lake. They diverted Glide Brook to wrap around this hill. And it empties out into the uh, Deer Lake Powerhouse there, a hydroelectric uh, generating station. Um, Deer Lake's not a real long runway, and this little bit of water in front of the airstrip here is um, Junction Brook. Junction Brook flows. Actually, there's not much of a flow in it, um, but it does. It connects up to the Humber River, which you can see there. Okay, so I'm going to get that little circle at the front of the runway, and we're going to begin to come in here. I want to reduce my speed. 140 is a bit hot. I want to... 500. Reducing my speed here. Trying to stay on the center line. 200. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. Whoa, I'm going to overshoot the runway. This is not good. There we go. Good landing. Good landing. Okay, I'm going to put my spoilers and I'm going to go to full reverse thrust. Try to stay in the center of the runway. There we go. There we go. All righty.
All right. Now, what's fun about what's fun about this uh, game is that you can do a little replay at the end of it here, and uh, I can come up here into. Now I'm just using my rudders now to taxi about and go up to the terminal. Um, but I can come up here and I can toggle replay mode and I can back up. I can just reverse what just happened and I can analyze. I can analyze my flight. Whoa, I went on the grass a little bit there. Here we go. I like to, I like to just see, I like to sometimes see how it looked on the outside. So I can, I can press it in normal mode. I can see, yep, I had my flaps, my gear down. I can look around the plane and just see how this looks. I kind of overshot the runway a little bit here. I was a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous here. I like to look at the shocks here. And I... Oh, I bounced ever so slightly. Not good. Not good. There, you see my spoilers come up? You see my reverse engines there? See the cowling here? It forces, the jet doesn't change direction, but at the back here, these cowlings force the air forward, um, giving you reverse thrust, uh, enabling you to, there you go, you can see I'm using my um, rudder here. I went on the grass a little bit, that's not cool. A plane would not do that. You'd need a tow to get out of that in real life. And so that's just, um, that's the, um, that's just a instant replay mode that you can, that you can do. I'm just taxing in here just to finish it off. Yeah, we don't need to go right into the airport. I normally I taxi right in there. Um, yeah, so that is it. That's a little flight from. That's a little flight from uh, Gander to Deer Lake. Yeah, hope you en enjoyed the ride. Take care.